Welcome back. Today's topic is North Korea sanctions. Let us begin. The US and European Union comply by the UN resolution number 2094 of 2013 and earlier resolutions regarding restrictions and bans against North Korea on the following: one travel and asset freezes on certain individuals involved in arms dealing and exports of goods and equipment related to ballistic missiles and other weapons. Two asset freezes of certain organizations involved in supporting activities towards arms and weapon dealings, as well as illegal trading activities. Three items, materials, equipment, goods, and technology which are nuclear items, missile items, and chemical weapons. Four luxury goods such as jewelry, pearls, gems, precious, and semi-precious stones and precious metal, as well as transportation items like yachts racing cars, and luxury automobiles. The first European Union sanction was imposed in 2006 in reaction to North Korea's first test of a nuclear device. Currently, the European Union has autonomously banned provision of New Democratic People's Republic of Korea Bank or North Korea notes and coins, any financial support which could be used for nuclear-related or weapons of mass destruction program, and any new commitment towards North Korea in the form of concessional loans and financial assistance. There is a restriction on the issue and trade in certain bonds, use of European Union airports, and establishment of subsidiaries or branches of North Korea banks. Moreover, there will be enhanced monitoring of banks in North Korea that work with European Union financial institutions, as well as increased scrutiny of North Korea diplomats. In addition to supporting the UN resolutions, the US has time and again imposed sanctions on North. The US, which has backed South Korea since the start of the Korean War, first imposed an economic embargo on the North in 1950. From 1988 to 2008, the US designated the North Korea government as state sponsor of terrorism. Though there are many sanctions in place against North Korea, the U.S. has not levied any travel ban for U.S. citizens, nor is there a ban on trade of basic goods, the trade volume is negligible though. The Office of Foreign Assets Control's current North Korea sanctions program began in 2008, when the President issued Executive Order 13,466. In Executive Order 13,466, the president declared a national emergency to deal with the threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States constituted by the current existence and risk of the proliferation of weapons usable fissile material on the Korean peninsula, and continued certain restrictions with respect to North Korea that previously had been imposed under the authority of the Trading with the Enemy Act or TWEA. Also in 2008, the president signed Proclamation 8271, terminating the application of TWEA authorities with respect to North Korea. Since 2008, the president has issued subsequent executive orders expanding the 2008 national emergency and taking additional steps with respect to that emergency, including blocking the property of certain persons and prohibiting certain types of transactions. That's all for today. Thank you. Hope you all now have a fair idea about the North Korea sanctions. And you may now apply this knowledge to your day-to-day -day work. Have a nice day ahead. Stay tuned.